if you look at the free cap, you don't see a cap actually, it's more a net. Attached on the net, there are electrodes, um, or better say, electrode holders. These holders, they are placed along the electrode net. Now, the 1020 system is, is a rule and you can use this rule and transfer it to the cap. First of all, you need to know that many electrical positions are interconnected. They, you, can, you can draw a line. What is the most important line? It's the line from nasion to inion. And it goes like this. Yeah. There is another line, a very important one. It's the one from T3 to T4. This is T3. And we're going to T4. Which is here. Another important line is the, the I call it always the headband from FPC to OZ, but there is no OZ because we don't need that place, but uh, we can see it as an orientation point, it's here, and then we go from OZ uh, to uh, back to T5 and uh, T6 and T4 and F8 and well back to FP2 and, o and, and FPZ. So there are all these lines, they, they connect electrode placements. And you can use these lines also as help lines. And um, so let's start with, uh, with one important uh, electrode placement where you can easily find without needing any measurement. What is it? For example, FPZ. When you know your nasion and you know the distance from nasion to inion and this is 37 centimeters you your 20 percent and this is um, roughly 37 centimeters nasion to inion we know that 20% is 7.4 centimeters. So, and I also know that my 10% is 3.7 centimeters. Figuring out where is my FPZ, for example, I just need to measure 3.7 centimeters up here. Now, I can use a measurement, but I can also use my hand as a measure, measurement tool. So, in my, in my case, my, uh, I have here three 0.7 of 7.4, 7.4 centimeters, it's the size of, um, um, of, a, of a wooden uh, cotton stick, like this. And here, that there, a little bit more, but roughly it's, it's, it's what, it, what it is. I can put it here. Put this here. I always get the same distance if I use this as a measurement template. 
Now, I don't want to use templates. I just want to use what I have on my body. And that's the distance between the, these two fingers. Okay. All right, now we're using the distance between these two fingers and try to figure out what works with this distance with this measurement trick, okay? Now, let's see FPZ to CZ. Uh, sorry, FPC to FC, FC to ZZ, ZZ to PZ. It works. Now, what about FC to F4, for example? See how it works? It works. ZZ to C4 or C3. It works. I can use this. I can also use it from P. Uh, Z to P3, for example. It works. From FP1 to FP2. It works. What about what I always call the headband? These electrodes which line up along the headband. Well, you know, when you wear a head. Yeah? So here. And here, and here, and here. I can use the same distance without problems. So it's always good to start with something which is really easy to find. If you want to have C3, C4 placement, First thing you look for is you look at T3 or T4, which is easy to find because it's right above the ear. And on the other place, you also see it a little bit above the ear. Um, let me show you on the example what we have prepared. This is your three really easy to find all right show you my ear t3 here or t4 really easy to find yeah. okay then from your t3 and to t4 you know how to find c3 and c4 just four fingers up here and you have your c4 Another four fingers up, you have your ZZ. If you want to find F, Z, for example, easy way. You start with F, P, Z. Well, you can start with the inion, two fingers up from inion, then a little bit more maybe, like here. And you are on FPV, and from FPV, four fingers up, you are on FC. Next step from FC, how can you find F4, this one, without measurement? FC is, you know where FC is. Yeah? Then you go down a little bit towards F8, which is here. This is a quarter of a circle, but half distance from FC to F8, that's your F3. And it's not directly four fingers, a little bit less, but roughly you can say, oh yeah, this is four. Here is a little bit less. You can correct if you like. Put that more in the middle. Now you are equidistant F, uh, Z and F8, and in the middle you have F4. Okay, same thing on the other side, of course. Same thing for P3 and P4. P3, P4, 
you find your PC. Easy, that this is easy, and you go four fingers back, you are on your PC, and then you go four fingers down towards to T5 or T6. So I call this the four finger trick. Now I know not every hand is the same, but if you know your Nasion and Inion distance, you can always define the 20%. And um, if your hand is smaller or bigger, if your hand is really big, you can use three fingers instead of four. And if your hand is too small, you calibrate this distance. You can make it more like this or more like this. Yeah? And you train a little bit and you will figure out very easily how your positions are.